Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome back to Youth Matters. On today's show we are discussing love or arrange marriage. Which route should our youth take? And uh, you know we've had so many callers uh, on today's show and emails flooding in and we'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Uh, the question we're asking our audience today at home is, is arranged marriage outdated? Is arranged marriage outdated? What is your view? If you're, whether you're married or you're single and you're thinking about marriage, please get in touch and tell us. And, uh, you know, uh, once again, our panel who are joining us and sharing their expertise, we've got Adil, who's a university student, so providing a perspective of the youth. We've got uh, Jube, who's an artist and comedian, uh, and also Brother Mark Smooth, who, mashallah, is the CEO of Inspire Million, and also is in the 25th year of his marriage, mashallah. So a lot of uh, experience on the panel, uh, making up for the other two brothers who aren't married, mashallah. <laughs> okay, so uh, just going straight into the next um, email that we've had from from uh, from a viewer is arranged marriages are proving to be very different in this day and age because most people have found that person they want to marry parents know your best but would they be able to find someone the way you would like in terms of their practice of the deen life goals and character so i guess other this question is to me seems as though it's <coughs> our parents and it brings up the question mm. of how I, I, I know what I need in a partner and uh, you know better than my parents what's your take on that um, that's a very good question and it's, it's really interesting to see um, that you know th those that have survived or who have been in a marriage for a very very long time um, you know when they come and say oh there'll be no better best for you uh, and a lot of cases they do know what's best for you and they've seen you grow up and they've seen what you like, just like how much you've changed, how little you're likely or how more you're likely to change. Um, and when they do come and introduce uh, you to someone, um, in a lot of cases they are putting your best interests at, at heart. Um, um, but then again, of course, um, you need to look at your relationship with your parents as well um, and see whether or not um, they really do understand you. Um, and then perhaps it's good idea, a good idea to understand what you, what are certain things you cannot live without sure. uh, in, in a, you know, in a wife or in a husband, and what are things that you can sort of uh, sacrifice or not even sacrifice, but you know, aren't that important. That's fine. Um, and have an honest conversation with your parents, um, and just be, you know, I think if you're looking to get married, you should be mature enough to be able to have that discussion with them yeah. in the first place. Okay. Um, and if you don't, then you should question whether you should be getting married at that age anyway. Okay, that's really good advice. Uh, I'm going to ask some quick fire questions now, okay? Oh. And uh, the idea is that you respond uh, very briefly, okay? And these are questions that have been sent in uh, by some of our uh, people that we asked on our social media, on our Facebook page, okay? So really quick fire answers, okay? Masoud Bhai, I'll start with you. Uh, how should a parent respond to the following? Uh, I don't want to get married. Uh, why not? Okay. Uh, how should a parent respond? Uh, he's not of the same race, but he's a good Muslim. Parents respond. Yeah. Uh, don't be so ignorant. Okay, that's uh. fine. Uh, <laughs> quick fire. Uh, Adil, uh, how should a parent respond if... Uh, if a child says he works as a street cleaner, but I love him, <laughs> if she, he or she, oh, well, she's gonna have his mind on him regardless. So, um, you know, unless, yeah, uh, doesn't matter what he does. Uh, okay, well, if she loves him, then she that's fine. Uh, another question, uh, Masud Bay, uh, how should a parent respond? Uh, I earn more than him. What's the problem? Okay, uh, Jube, how should a parent respond if the child says he's not British? Uh, what they <coughs> what they should do is lock them in a basement and <laughs> don't let them out until they change their mind. Perhaps. Okay. And w uh, how should a parent respond to the following? Okay, I'm not ready yet. Listen to it. Uh, don't don't force it if she's not ready or he's not ready. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah. So is that what the parent should say? Don't do it. I think the parent should be more understanding. Uh, if, if you know if they're being honest, then they should be honest as well. That's that. fine. Um, okay. So we we spoke about. Uh, forced marriage and I think one of the callers did allude to that. Uh, what what would you say Adil are some of the reasons why people uh, people are in that situation where they're forcing their children to get married? I had a conversation with um, a barrister just yesterday um, at work um, and it was very interesting he's, he specializes in family law um, in England he's from Liverpool but he's working in London uh, from Pakistan Heritage um, and yeah, we had this discussion quite frank um, and he was saying 
generally the case is where you know a daughter or a son has been caught with someone by the parents and the parents have said right this is not happening you know this is going to damage your reputation etc sure. etc we now need you to get married because you're perhaps sexually active or active in a way you shouldn't be outside of marriage from their perspective and they want to make it halal or they want to make it uh, acceptable to their uh, the way they think which in a lot of cases of course is a good thing but they will force that individual to get married to someone else that's not of their wish right. um, that's a quite an extreme example other examples include you know caste other examples include race um, etc um, thank you so, yeah okay um, Jabir, is it is it wrong uh, is it wrong for parents uh, to want to be involved in finding their child a suitable partner? Not at all. I think it should be um, definitely taken on by the parents. Um, it's their responsibility. It should be, they should take it as their responsibility and the kids should be accepting, more accepting and maybe be more uh, open to suggestions. Like just, you know, get talking to mm. your parents. Mm. They're not they're not aliens. They're not sure. like just going to beat you up just because yeah. they might. But uh, you sure know, they won't. you might you might get lucky and get a biscuit and get some some Naomi Campbell stepping through your door, getting married to. You yeah. never know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, as always, you know, we we would love to hear from you. So please, you know, the numbers on the screen, do get in touch and tell us what is your view on this, okay? Is arranged marriage outdated? Um, also, what we want to know from you is your experiences, you know. Do you feel that love marriage is the way forward now, okay? Or is arranged marriage still the way that we should go about? Also, you know, what are your experiences, you know, within your family, within your friend circles, all of those things. So do get in touch, whether it be via email or through Facebook. Um, moving on to what's about yourself. Um, in terms of, is there anything? Uh, now, so you, you, mashallah, you know, you had an arranged marriage. Um, what kind of some people they might be thinking, you know, I'm about to go and see someone potential. What kind of questions would you ask someone if you went down the arranged marriage route? So normally, um, my assumption is that there's still that uh, where the, where you meet the mm -hmm. person yeah. before you get married. So what kind of questions? What questions kind of seal the deal for you? I think it's important to try and suss out the quality of the person and the genuineness. You know, are they doing a pretend job in front of you? Is it like a pretend interview? Yeah, because if it's like an interview, you, you know, how do you, yeah. how can you tell if the uh, person's been so, honest? So, you know, it, it's, it, it, each individual has to be thoughtful. So I was as, intel uh, you know, as thoughtful and intelligent as I thought I could be. So I came up with a number of questions. They will be in some future books, so you have to buy that. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I had a face-to-face -face meeting uh, with, uh, with my in-laws as well as my wife-to-be at that time, mm -hmm. uh, and I interviewed her, you know, and, and we had a conversation, we talked, uh, and uh, that gave me a good idea. But in, you know, but in, addition, again, if it's, in if it's, addition if it's to a, a thorough research but if it's beforehand. A, if it's an interview setting, yeah. which, which you've alluded to, yeah. and I think for a lot of people it is, yeah. Based on that interview, it's like almost giving a job and yeah. sometimes you give the person a job and then you regret giving that person yeah. because they're not the right candidate. So what do you say to people who are screaming at the screen and thinking, no, but if I, I'm not going to make a decision based on 15 minutes. What would you say to them? Yeah, well, it's a two way process. So, you know, she had as much uh, choice and decision making as, as I did. We're you still know. waiting to yeah, hear, find yeah, out if that's the, true. The decision was not made <laughs> on the spot. You know, in our hearts, it mm. may ha you know we may have clicked, and I certainly felt that yes, uh, you know I'd like to go ahead. But you know, it I took two weeks before I gave my opinion, and mm, okay. you know there was a lot of interaction and discussion going on to try and weigh up the decision. So. I don't think, uh, you know, th th but that's not the typical way people would do it. Mm, okay. uh, but I thought, you know, I, I think it was a worthwhile investment, but it was also a test of patience. Mm. You have to be patient. So what I find often happening in our community is that people feel pressurized. They have to give an answer there and then, and they have to say yes. And there are lots of traditions where 
even when you go for the first time to see the person, you take a ring, you take uh, clothes and all that kind of stuff. And then you do that and then two days later you're undoing it all. Mm. And that's all false, you know, it's all very disturbing, sure. very emotionally troubling Thank for you. each par person. Thank you. Thank you for that. We've yeah. got emails flooding in. We've got one person that says, uh, love and arranged marriage is becoming more close to each other in today's British Asian society. The old term of arranged marriage used to mean where the couple do not know how each other look like till the day of their wedding or wedding night. And in some cases where the man or woman didn't have a chance, uh, this has completely changed, which is forced marriage. Nowadays, parents have started to become more understanding and couples get to see each other's photos, profiles and even meet. And Brother uh, Jubair has uh, given us more access to online sites that allow that to happen more easily. With arranged marriage, yes, there are many risks, but here, uh, here, importantly, it requires a lot of patience, honesty, respect, and trust. Mm. So, mashallah, clearly, someone who's seems like, you know, mm. they they've gone through that experience, and it helps. We've got another one here. I'm not mentioning people's name because they want to remain anonymous. Please keep this email anonymous. Uh, I think nowadays the concept of arranged and love marriage has been blurred by social Muslims marriage websites. Ah, it'll be yeah. interesting to see what you have to say about that, Brother Jubair. Um, especially as appearance is a major factor for these websites. I feel the pressure of not having, not living in a Muslim or predominantly <coughs> Bangladeshi city is detrimental. Uh, being over 25 is detrimental, and where you can um, from Bangladesh has become an issue. So if you do come. We have to remember we are a minority in the UK and teaching our children to be open-minded and sensible is key. So that's a really good email touching on that and uh, also another one where it says I want to say that the foundation of of a marriage, I'll come back to that because we've got a caller on the line. Um, Salaam alaikum caller. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. wa rahmatullah. How would you like to uh, add, uh, contribute to the discussion? I just want to say something. I just want to comment something. That's fine. Um, I think it's a very good show program that you're doing. May Allah make it easy for all the brothers and sisters getting married. Amen. So keep up the interesting shows. Thank you. And have a good day. Okay. And what about um? Are you are you married? No. Okay. And uh, if you, which route are you thinking of taking? The love route or the arranged marriage route? Um, the love route. The love route. And why is that? Um, it's scaring her off, man. Because, like, you should love them because, like, then they will know that they love you back at them. Do you think our? Do you think the youth in in this society they understand? They get confused between love and lust. What's your view? What is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. Love is from the heart. Love like is what you truly love. Okay, so um, so we should go on. Uh, we should marry someone based on the fact that we've got this uh, connection with them from our heart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. That's really uh, appreciated. So, uh, Adi, what do you say? If it's from the heart, if it's, oh, yeah, if it's look, strong yeah. in your heart, you go ahead with it. What's your view on that? Definitely speak to friends and family, of course, uh, before <laughs> taking a massive step of marriage. Uh, but look, if there's a serious connection there, um, and it's not just lost, it is genuine love, mm -hmm. you need to know what you love about them, etc. Uh, we did mention before, um, you know, social media, movies, etc. These things sell because they put forth uh, an idealistic uh, view of what marriage is, sure. or what love is. We've, so, yeah, th yeah. Thank you for that. We've got a few quick fire questions as well because we've got four minutes before the show ends Great, and we've got so again. many people trying to come, uh, trying to uh, contribute. Um, first of all, uh, once again, brief answer. Yep. Um, anything wrong with marrying a person older than you? What, obviously? So if it's a woman? Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> marrying an older guy, and if it's a guy marrying an older woman, uh, stereotypically, uh, look, uh, um, no, there's nothing wrong with it either way. No. Or younger, either way as well. Uh, you can do it either way. Uh, if the woman's older <laughs> and the man's fine with that, then no problem. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, by the book, nothing. But I mean, obviously, you want to look at whether or not uh, so you're, you're happy with that. Okay, as a we'll let we'll let Jabe calm down, and then we'll come back to him. <laughs> okay. Um, Masood Bhai, uh, why are people in the British community not as keen to marry a divorcee? Really quick. Uh, I'm talking about the Bangladeshi. You're community. talking about Bangladeshi. Uh, th these are cultural things, you know, stigma and, and what's uh, your view various. On that? Really quickly. Uh, I, I think you know you have to look at why the person got divorced and how you can help uh, mend the situation. How you how people can learn from the That's situation. Right. Uh, you know, okay. the, our prophet's example. Uh, thank you. Is it's a, it's a quick one. fire question. All right. <laughs> thank you. Salam uh, Um Jube, coming back to you. Mm. Have you got rid of your giggles? <coughs> okay. Advice to people thinking of running away and getting married. 
Um, so going back to that Bollywood film you were talking about. So basically, if you're on a train station with Omrish Puri and he's holding his daughter and you're on the train, make sure you keep looking back at Kajol because she might, because he, he her dad might film? let go and then okay. you might, you know. That's fine. Okay, so uh, next one, Adil. Uh, sad to hear parents saying, find someone when they can't find anyone. So what do you say to that? So say someone's reached the 30 age and then the parents turn around and say why don't you go and find someone yourself because uh, we've tried and we can't oh that's, that's a tough one uh, <laughs> i don't know how to respond to that um find someone yourself um um i don't know i mean obviously you want to keep it halal etc uh okay keep it as halal as possible ask your friends you know put your name out there etc and inshallah make lot, lots of dua and inshallah work okay and uh come back to your masad bay how should we really briefly how should we go about finding a partner in 20 seconds. Whew. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think that's possible uh, in 20 seconds to find a partner. You have to do a bit more work. Uh, but uh, explore all avenues and, and work with people around you. Don't, it doesn't have to be one or the other. It doesn't have to be just you. It doesn't have to be your parents. Work with them. You can do the, do the research, bring it to your parents, say, what do you think? But don't bring it to them when you know there is no return. Because that's like, you know, blackmailing them. Okay. Sometimes parents do the same. They have done the deal when you were born mm. and, and then 20, 30 years later they say, oh, look, you're going to, mm. what do you think about this girl? Sure. And then you have to marry. That's, that's forced marriage and I don't approve okay, of that. Okay, brilliant. And Jibbe, just your part in uh, comments about uh, how people should go about trying to find a partner? Well, uh, if you're going to take a loan out, uh, make <laughs> sure it's on the house and you lose everything before you get married so you have a full-on unhappy life of paying off mortgages and debts. Okay, so that's, Good uh, luck to you. That's really positive, thank you. Uh, and lastly, Adil, what would, you, what would be your final comments? Uh, on marriage, look, it's something that Allah has uh, sort of uh, instituted. It's there for a reason. There's a lot of barakah in it if you do it the right way. Disaster waiting to happen mm. if you do it the wrong way. Um, and um, it's something that's part of life. Be careful uh, before you take steps. But, you know, make lots of dua and, you know, it is something that is very, very positive. Uh, in life and it's part of life. So that's the end of this uh, the show. Um, huge thanks to our panel, to our callers who called in and also people who emailed as well and sent messages on Facebook. Just to summarize, I think the key thing that we uh, spoke about today is obviously whether we go down the love route or the uh, arranged marriage route. But I think the most important thing is make sure you marry the person for the right qualities. Because, you know, like we said from the hadith, if you marry them for their looks or their lineage or their wealth, they could lose that. But if you marry someone for their piety, then that doesn't go. And I think it's very important that we involve our parents in the discussions, okay? If you do find someone that you feel would be suitable for you, get your parents involved, do it the right way, so that they too can enjoy that journey. I think if we do it without consulting them, then, you know, they've, uh, they've been there from day one. And if we do that, then I don't think it's, uh, you know, it spoils that kind of magical moment that you could have. So do involve everyone. Um, as always, do follow us on Facebook and uh, do like us. And... Uh, you know, remember that it's all about the youth and youth matters and do stay in touch and we will see you very soon. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.